Our 140 year anniversary mirrors the 140 year contribution of the Sisters of Mercy here in Ballarat. A history that has seen the evolution of Catholic education to meet the needs of the time in the spirit of Catherine Macaulay. In continuing to meet the needs of the time, in 1995, these three schools amalgamated to become Damascus College. And it was through the collaboration and innovation of the Sisters of Mercy and the priests of the diocese that brought about the formation of Damascus College. In continuing to ensure quality, contemporary provision of Catholic education, in 2022, Damascus College takes yet another step and we will move to a Ballarat diocesan governance with the continuation of the mercy charism that underpins our faith and our service to the community. Catherine McCauley's work continues to be entrusted to lay men and women to bring the light of Christ to our community here in the Diocese of Ballarat. The story continues, but in a different form. I would like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to the Mercy Sisters and the priests of the Ballarat Diocese for their leadership, friendship, professional guidance and collegial support. I have great appreciation for the great work of the priests of the Ballarat Diocese for coming in celebrating the Eucharist with the school and school community. On the journey, I've never felt like I've been alone. Sometimes they've walked in front of me, leading the way, guiding me through morning prayer and Father Adrian's beautiful homilies at Mass. The Sisters of Mercy have provided my family and I some amazing support in some very difficult times. They demonstrated what it is to be an active Christian by actually going out, working with communities and being visible in the work that they have been doing. When I was privileged enough to be employed at Damascus College, I soon met the Sisters of Mercy, particularly Sister Mary Ann Dwyer, Sister Luke and Sister Mari. I would soon learn that their values are interwoven in the fabric of what is Damascus College. I'm thankful through my teaching career that I've been able to experience the spirit of leadership shown by Sister Velda Ward and Sister Mary Davy. I have affectionate memories in the early days of sharing an office and working with Sister Mary Ann Dwyer. And Sister Mary Ann Dwyer met me at the door. She was particularly attuned to the plight of the poor people, especially those in East Timor. And she always challenges us to do more. Someone very compassionate, quiet, friendly, and that's something that she has taught me over the years to remain friendly, caring, and that sort of a person. Sister Luke was a diverse learning pioneer of her time. Sister Luke Kenner was another one of uh, the big influences I've had. And rightly dogged in her support of those with special needs, particularly in the area of English and literature. Well, she was very dynamic. She was very forthright. She was very quick-witted and could tell a story. And she expected their best effort. So I learnt a lot from Sister Luke. Sister Velda Ward remains a positive influence on my teaching. Still, my teaching, when confronted with a challenging situation, I often ask myself, how would Sister Velda respond to this situation? Velda showed a genuine interest in most aspects of my teaching and my life. Sister Murray's always been a beacon of guidance, support, love to all her students and staff. I'd just like to thank the Sisters of Mercy and particularly Sister Mari Davy for giving me the opportunity to work at Damascus and in some small way to uh, continue the legacy of Catherine McCauley. The Sisters of Mercy, and particularly Sister Mary, have always been a warm, bright, shining light in my and my family's life, and for that I'll be forever grateful. They do embody what it means to live by the light of Christ, and they inspire me to live that each day in my workplace and in my personal life. So I want to thank the Sisters of Mercy for their time and effort they've put into my life, my family's life. I've learned so much from them, and I'm sure my kids that I have taught and students that I've uh, had over the years have taken a lot from what I have taught them, but it's come from the Sisters of Mercy. And I'm confident that the Sisters of Mercy have enabled education in Ballarat to continue to inspire and to grow in strength, wisdom and grace. 
and just to reassure the Sisters of Mercy that that legacy will continue. I'd like to thank the Sisters of Mercy and the priests of Ballarat for showing me the road to Damascus and for helping shape the person I am. Thank you all for your work that has shaped the lives of so many young people today and has presented an image of God that is loving, merciful and accessible to all. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you, Sisters of Mercy. A big thank you to the Sisters of Mercy. My name is Tom Sexton, I'm the Executive Director of the Diocese of Ballarat Catholic Education Limited, Dobcell. I'd like to take this unique opportunity to share with the Damascus community a little bit about Dobcell, but also to share our significant joy and uh, excitement uh, for Damascus College to be joining the Dobcell group of schools. Dobcell is a company limited by guarantee to manage and operate Catholic schools in the Diocese of Ballarat. Dobcell governs 58 schools in our diocese, with Damascus College now being the largest school under its governorship. Dobcell aims to promote Catholic identity, to deliver quality learning, to enable effective stewardship and to nurture respectful and trusting relationships within the community. Under our Dobcell governance structure, it's important for the community to be aware that the day-to-day -day operations of the college will not change. What will change is that the staff will be employed by the company and the policies will now be set by Dobcell. Everything else about Damascus should remain essentially the same. The Mercy Charism is a vital component of the Damascus tradition, and we're thrilled that this charism will continue to thrive at Damascus and under Dobcell's governance, as it underpins the faith and the service to the community. Those associated with Damascus College now and in the years gone by should be rightly proud of the school it is today and of the 140 year history of providing contemporary Catholic education to meet the needs of the time. Dobcell is both grateful and excited to be governing Damascus College from 2022. We're looking forward to working together as a committed community to continue to offer innovative education that allows our young people to be their best.